Hey guys, today I wanted to do a short video. It's back to school day here. And after this video, I am going to go intentionally try to take a nap. I am not joking. Do some reading, do some good self care, and then get on to the day. But um, I wanted to share something with you. As many of you know, I took uh, a one month sabbatical from work and intentionally changed my rhythm. I got off social media, didn't reply to work emails, and changed some of the rhythm of my normal day. I did a lot of extra gardening and it was such good medicine to my soul. Often when I'm out in nature, I feel really close to God. And I mean, you can feel close to God in the center of a crowded room. So, um, and I've experienced that too, but there's something so beautiful about simple, unhindered, not noisy spaces that really compel me. So I wanted to share something with you that had me, to be honest with you, in tears this summer, just in tears as I learned about how to take care of tomato vines. Now this may sound a little weird because um, I don't have the greenest thumb, but if you've been following my Instagram story, I can grow some pumpkins. Thank you, Finkster. But um, so I wanted to show you this and the message that God had given me when I was just taking care of my, my tomato plants. So I just took a little clipping because um, I've pulled up my garden because of work and school and life. I'm not, um, I need to simplify some things, which is really the heart of my message today. I want you to simplify and remove the suckers. And so you may think that's a little weird, but let me explain to you. So you see here, this is like the main vine of the tomato plant. And then they have off, um, you know, like there's offspring. So my gardening language is not precise. So if you're a gardener, please bear with me, but just take the, the big part of this message. So here's the main vine and then there's new life that grows off. And you see, as the new life grows off, see what happens is fruit, different fruit. Like this is not developed yet. This is, this is ripening. But in between the space where there's a, the solid foundation vine and new life, there's things that are called suckers. That's actually what I researched. And you see, I don't know if you can actually see this, but like this little thing right here, it's at the center point of new life the main vine and new life, little suckers come. And what you need to do is just pinch. You can choose. You can choose to pinch off the suckers or let them grow. If you let the suckers grow, often they'll look like this. More greenery and often can bear fruit too. But it's at the compromise of the powerful few fruits. And I don't know about you, but this is what I've asked God when I've, when I've sought him and he led me to take a season of rest and I can sense he's doing a new thing, is this, remove the suckers, some of the suckers. So I wanna speak specifically to you about what were some of the suckers in my life. The past two years have been really transformative in my personal life and my private life. And I haven't shared a lot about that because um, it's not time yet. It's really not time yet. And whenever the time is, I'll be faithful. But what I needed to do is take a lot of the suckers off. And see, here's the thing. I got into a bad rhythm of going to bed late, watching like crazy TV. Like I love Blue Bloods, but eight reruns. Or I love The Crown, but watching like binge watching The Crown. So I needed to remove the sucker of going to bed late. I mean, just something so simple as that. So I could wake up fresh and go to the morning time prayer and seeking God and start my day powerfully as opposed to already in negative battery energy. I needed to take some suckers off of some work choices I was making. I wasn't making some of the best, I made some really good work choices, but I wasn't making some of the best work choices, so I had to take some of the suckers off. The social media sucker. When I took that month off from social media, I felt like, like that was so great, because social media is so great. The intention, it, it has such a, an amazing capacity to spread the gospel, spread your life, which your life is your pulpit. So to spread how you live your life, it's a beautiful way to do it. But I was watching some social media accounts and I was letting it cloud up and suck some of my joy and energy. One sucker that I had taken care of in the past that I had already pulled off that helped me have stronger fruit is plugging my phone in regularly uh, over 80 percent of the nights i plug my phone in at 8 30 p.m that's a family policy some of the suckers i've already pulled is no phones at the table during meals i mean unless we are waiting on like someone who like a friend had gone to the hospital um and we kept our phone with us because we were on standby because that's important but our normal policy is no 
a, practicing a daily um, private time. That's a sucker I had pulled years ago that's helped me. So I want to encourage you. See, here's the thing is that our main path from God is a really good, good plan. Read Jeremiah. Just read the whole chapter of Jeremiah 29. I mean, you'll hear how God has such a great plan for you. And it's not particularly straight and it's bumpy and it has some little bumps and twists. And then the new life that he shoots off for you is so, so beautiful. And there's fruit that he wants to produce in you. But see, it's our job to listen to the main gardener. The main gardener is not Steph Fink, and sometimes I act like I'm running the show, and that's where I get into problems. The main gardener is the Holy Spirit who guides you and tells you when to remove certain relationships, when to remove certain habits, when to remove certain thoughts, when to remove, um, maybe if it's a show you're watching, or remove. I mean, I remember years and years ago when God told me to remove a magazine. I was reading a popular entertainment magazine, and to remove that from my life because I was reading that magazine more than I was studying the Bible. Just this past year, God asked me to enter it back in because I was not getting relatable. I wasn't aware of what was going on in the world as much. And, you know, I want to be in the world, not of it. I was of the world then, and I want to be in the world and be impactful. I want to impact, but I don't want the world to negatively impact me, which means I need to be strong so I can bear the right kind of fruit and remove the suckers where needed. And you see, the thing is, you see how small this little sucker is? It's so tiny. But if I let that sucker grow and don't attend to it, it will be as big as this and bigger. And it's possible that fruit can grow, but I'm gonna tell you that I think some of the fruit that grows, it's, it's at the compromise of the right fruit. And I just wanna encourage you guys today. I mean, I'm not showered, I don't care. I'll post pictures with, with makeup on, I'll post pictures with my hair done. Today I didn't want to, I just want to, to share this message and I'm gonna go take a small portion of dedicated and intentional self-care to remove some suckers because there's, um, there's nothing more important than honoring God and that's what God wants me to do is take care of myself so I can go back out and take care of my family first and the others that God points me to. So I just wanna encourage you today, take care of the suckers and some suckers you're supposed to let grow and let it be new life. And other suckers you're supposed to get rid of. The Holy Spirit will guide you. You'll, you'll feel a specific convinc conviction. And that's when you know you're probably going to have to pull the sucker. So I just really want to encourage you to grow the right kind of fruit and take good care of yourself. But most importantly, seek the gardener. Seek God. And he'll direct your path. He'll show you the ways. He'll tell you when to turn right, turn left, when to pull that sucker, when to leave it and let it grow. And that's the fruit he wants you to grow. And, and most importantly, especially in this age of social media, my tomato vine will not look like yours. We may have the same kind of, we may have fruit, but it won't look exactly the same because we're supposed to live unique and specially dedicated lives to God. So I just hope that really blesses you. When, when God spoke this message to me, I was just weeping in my garden because it was so personal to me because that's my God. He's so personal and he's so loving. I really hope this blessed you and I hope you have a great day.